here with me not for any miracle that I have performed. You are here with me not because of anything that is special about me. I don't carry any authority from God. I don't have any support from the scriptures. I am just as ordinary as you are. Up to now this has never happened. People love Jesus because of his miracles. Take the miracles away and their love disappears. They were attracted by the magical qualities. They were not concerned with Jesus at all. They are interested in Krishna because he is the incarnation of God and he performs so many miracles. Just take those miracles away and Krishna is finished. You cannot finish me. You can take anything away from me. You cannot finish me. Because I have not in any way tried to influence you, impress you by something which is superhuman. Everything can be taken away from me. Your relationship towards me will remain the same. It can't be changed. Because in the first place it is a simple relationship. Those relationships between Christians and Christ and Jews and Moses and Hindus and Krishna, they are not at all concerned with the individual. If Jesus meets you on the way and tells you that I am Jesus Christ, First thing you will ask then, walk on water. <laughs> you cannot ask me that. You cannot even ask me to walk. <laughs> <laughs> because I have never done even that miracle. <laughs> Walking on water. You cannot ask me because you will look foolish. But with Jesus, you can ask him. And you will be perfectly right. And if he simply drowns in water then, <laughs> and he is going to drown. It is just against physical laws. He is going to drown. Then what will be your relationship with Jesus who drowns? <laughs> and you have to run and jump and save him <laughs> and give him artificial breathing. <laughs> what will be your relationship with this man? Just think of it. No, you, you don't have any relationship with Jesus, Mahavir, Buddha, Krishna, not at all. 
your attention is diverted. They teach you to love Jesus. Why? Because he turned water into wine? Even if he turned water into wine, that does not mean he deserves your love. In fact, he has committed a crime. He should be behind the bars. Turning water into wine without license. <laughs> You are going against law, against government, against society. He should be punished. I don't see how he can deserve your love. And it is old story. Today he will turn into a vegetable into marijuana, <laughs> has